Hello everyone and happy new year. This is Carla from Art with Katie. Welcome back to my channel. Today my friends, we're here to plan January 2022. Welcome to the new year and many wonderful new things to come. Last year I had a very fun theme, which I love and up to the moment, it's one of my favorites, is a pin up with me and plan January. And it's all based in pin up models. It was super fun to make and I really recommend that you see it because I guess it's a classic. And because of that this year, I wanted to do something as awesome as last year, something that was classic and elegant and so very me. And you would think that would come up really easily to me and it didn't at all. I had these uh, themes and ideas in my head and I couldn't like make up my mind. And honestly, it was last minute that I decided on the final topic. And it is terrible. You know, with the last couple of years that we have, we definitely need the best of luck. So what do you do when you want to know about your, I don't know, fortune? Well, you go to the fortune teller, right? Well, not all of us go to get our cards read, but I know that if I could choose my fortune for this year, I will, I don't know, get inspired in tarot cards and just pick my favorites that I want to, you know, live this year. So that's exactly what I did. I grabbed my favorite cards and my favorite color, which is blue, and I planned this beautiful month that I hope that you enjoy. Remember that every single month I have here for you a plan with me video for our bullet journals that I really hope that you enjoy and love. And if you do, consider subscribing to my channel. I love how many likes I receive. I especially like reading your comments, so don't forget to show me some love with the like button and also leaving me a comment to know what it is that you're planning for this year. 2022 is just full of new promises and experiences and wonderful things for us to experiment and live. I know that I have a lot of things planned for this year and one of them is keep sharing with you this kind of content, not only my plan with me videos, but videos as well as about art, reviews, materials, and anything that I can think of. In order for the theme of the month, I tried this beautiful makeup look by Dentislava. Oh my God, she's such a beautiful young woman. She's just so sweet, so funny. I just love watching her videos and you know, what can possibly go wrong. So it wasn't easy. So Denny, thank you so much for the tutorial. No, it is not easy. I hopefully did well, but wow, I just appreciate makeup artists so much. And that is why every single month I try to follow a tutorial to learn something new. Because for me, art is also expressed in makeup. So thank you Denny for this wonderful like blue eyeshadow tutorial. And I'll leave that link on the description box in case you want to reproduce it too. And talking about the description box, if you haven't noticed, I leave not only links for other videos there, but always, always, always you'll find there the material list I'm using for whatever video I'm sharing with you. So make sure to check them out. So now that we're all caught up and we're ready to plan, let's get started. Grab your materials, your notebook, your pens and markers, and especially something in color blue or your favorite color. Leave me in the comments which one it is. And if you're just here to hang out, well, enjoy. Get something to drink, coffee, tea, whatever it is that you like, and maybe a snack. And I'll see you at the end of the video. For the month of January 2022, there were a couple of themes in my mind, but they didn't feel right. I wanted something that would stand out, but at the same time that was simple and elegant and minimalistic, and well, you'll see, and um, there were lots of twists within this planning. 
But as I thought of something that would set the right pace for this year, I just couldn't make up my mind. And suddenly I thought of specifically fortune. What I could do to bring good fortune to this year, because we can certainly use it. So tarot cards was the answer. I don't know if you know what they are, but just in case you don't. The tarot is a pack of playing cards that has been used for a long, long time. And there are several versions of them. And they're still played today. Starting in the late 18th century, some people started using these cards to, to let you know your fortune. That's how tarot card reading came to be. Tarot cards aren't like common playing cards. They're a little bit different. They have four suits, which vary by region. And each one has 14 cards. 10 cards numbering from 1 or ace to 10, and then 4 cards that are faces, like the king, the queen, the knight, and the jack. But in addition, Tarot has 21 separate cards and an additional card known as the Fool. This 22-card section of the Tarot deck is known as Diminutory Circles as the Major Arcana. This is how Tarot cards are used primarily for novelty and divinatory purposes. I also have to point out that the Major Arcana has a specific meaning depending on the card that you get. For each of my layouts, I chose a specific tarot card. All of those that I thought were positive and had to do with love, positive outcomes, and healing. As we advance through the layout, I'll be explaining to you why I chose this card and of course, how I use the layout. But before I get into that, just let me tell you what I chose this color scheme. Because at least for me, when I think of tarot cards or fortune, purple comes to mind. But I wanted to keep the coloring of my notebook. If you saw the cover, you'll see that there's a lot of blues and gold. And I wanted to continue that through not only my yearly bullet journal setup, that if you haven't seen, I'm going to leave the link right here but also throughout the first month. That's why you'll see lots of different blues, a little bit of gray, and of course, gold. As for why I chose the world to be the cover of my bullet journal in January, it's very simple. Because the meaning of this card is wholeness, accomplishment, and prosperity, along with fulfillment, journey, conclusion, balance, peace, and solidarity. I like combining my cover and monthly calendar planning in one, just, you know, because it gives you this beautiful look and it also helps you get organized. The second layout I worked on is the one for challenges. I have to say that I don't know if I'm gonna keep this layout anymore. I noticed that for the last few months of last year, I didn't do any sort of challenge, at least not the ones that I used to write here in my bullet journal. But I am gonna start this year with a big, big challenge, which is to write a thousand things I'm thankful for. That way, I will combine my thankfulness spread with a new challenge. That's probably gonna take me a lot more than a month. We'll see. That layout will be part of my permanent collection. I have a whole playlist dedicated to those sort of collections that you can check out. I prepare my bullet journal for a year, but I have to tell you that it's something that I keep working on as a year goes by. 
so I keep adding layouts to my permanent collections. As for the meaning of this tarot card, the Wheel of Fortune means destiny, change, karma, circle of life, fate, chance, and destiny. Next comes my memory spread. In this layout, I just use words to describe the month, in as many words as I can think of, something that triggers a memory that I want to cherish. And I also think it looks super cool once you have it completed. Which by the way, I wonder, do you want me to do a flip through of a month that's completed? I think I only share one or maybe two, but I don't do that regularly. But if you want me to do so, just leave a comment and I'll get to it. Now for the meaning of temperance. It has to do everything with modesty, tolerance, tranquility, healing, patience, moderation, calmness, perspective, peace, harmony, and ease. Many of the things that I can use this January and for the whole rest of the year. You saw me use colored paper in the cover and now here on this spread. And the answer for that is very simple. First, it brings a pop of color that's just delightful. And you don't have to do much, just cut the paper. But also it gives a reprieve to the paper of my notebook. This is a lovely notebook and I just wish the paper was a little bit thicker. Something that you have to consider when purchasing your notebook. What materials are you going to use? Are you going to use markers as I do? Or even do you want to use watercolor or acrylics? Then you have to mine the paper. I have several reviews of notebooks and a video that I even compare several of them. So take a look and make sure to buy the right notebook for the medium you're going to use. Something that I like to do every month is mine my habit. I've been working a lot in myself and I love to do so following the principles of the book Miracle Mornings, which talks about savers, silence, affirmation, visualization, exercise, reading, and script. And I added an M and that's for mood. I also like to keep track of my mood. In this month, I'm trying a new layout. Let's see how I do with it. I'll keep you posted. As for the Emperor card and its meaning, it has a lot. Started with abundance, growth, stability, dependability, structure, and practicity.
something that you should know that I love doing is reading. And sadly, it's something that I didn't do as much as I used to do in previous years. Last year, I was in a major, well, not reading funk, and I struggled to read as many books as I usually do. For the last several years, I read around 100 books per year. Sadly, this year, I didn't reach the 100 mark. It was at the end of the year that I just got much more interested in reading, although I couldn't compensate. I have to say that lately, I enjoy more listening to audiobooks, and yes, I totally count them as reading books. The thing is, audiobooks allow you to multitask, something that I really need to do. I know some people wonder to what I do while I am drawing everything I put in these videos. And let me tell you, I do a lot of things. From talking on the phone, to watching some videos, or listening to them really. Also, of course, I love listening to music, but lately I've been doing a lot more of listening to podcasts and audiobooks. So if you wonder how you will see this in real time with no editing whatsoever in regards of speed and sound. Let me show you. And very animated she was. And the remainder of the evening passed without any recurrence of what I called her infatuations. I mean, her strange talk and looks, which embarrassed and even frightened me. But there occurred that night an event which gave my thoughts quite a new turn and seemed to startle even Carmilla's languid nature into momentary energy. Interesting, right? And I don't know how much more entertaining. I really do enjoy drawing when I listen to something, but I don't know if you'll enjoy it as much because it takes hours for me to draw these things in my notebook and I love it. And I love sharing it with you. And if you know what audiobook I was listening to, please leave me a comment. I'll make sure to leave it in the description box as well. I had to use the hermit in the quote spread, right? Especially when it means inner guidance, enlightenment, soul searching, gaining wisdom, and recognition for being different. Another question that comes out a lot for me is that if I really use my bullet journal, and the answer is yes, I use it a lot. I actually have two, one that I use for my personal life, which is the one that I share here with you, and one for work. I do use them and I love it, and that's why I wanna share with you the benefits on using it for being organized, but also as an artistic outlet. And out of my monthly layouts, this is the one that I enjoy the most, which is the photo memories. And I selected the Five of Cups for it, which if you know about tarot cards that I don't do a lot, you might think that it's not the most positive card, but hear me out, I have a reasoning behind this. I know that it can mean separation, and loss and loneliness, but it also has its positive things, especially when the cups are upright and filled. I selected it because it has the value for us to learning from our mistakes, for valuable experiences earned, and that's exactly what I want to do with all these memories. They have a lot of value for me, and I want to learn from them from these beautiful and wonderful experiences. And this is before we move to the weekly spread, which as you can see is very simple in its design, but it is quite complete in terms of content. Some time ago, I wanted to improve my mental health, which is how I came out with this layout. 
Through it, I want to be mindful in my everyday. I want to know exactly what my mood was, what were my feelings, what I was eating, not necessarily just for the benefit of being healthy, but because I've also noticed that sometimes what I eat has a large repercussion on how I feel and what I do in the day. Also, I want to be aware of what I'm talking, of my conversations. I want them to be something positive, something to be enjoyable, and something that brings, I guess, uh, happiness, not just for me, but for the people around me. And of course, I want to write a little bit about my day, sort of like a journal. And then on the side, you can see the trackers, if I learned anything new, if I exercised, what I was watching on TV, what I was reading, and if I wrote anything, which is something that I need to do this year, I need to get back to writing, and of course, activities for the week. Thank you for staying till the end of the video. What do you think of this plan? I honestly enjoy doing it so much. Let me tell you that this is a little bit more, I guess, artisty that I wanted to do. I thought of doing, like I was telling you at the beginning, several themes, but I was like, no, I'll do this later, I'll do this later, because I wanted something that was minimal and that was classic and that was something that anyone could reproduce. And while I know that there's many people out there that can use my theme as inspiration and can reproduce it or even do something much more elaborate and complicated and beautiful with my video as inspiration, uh, well, it, it got a little bit out of hand. <laughs> Uh, but I really, I truly love it and I think you're gonna enjoy it as much. So let's do a last flip through while I'll tell you the ins and outs of what it happened. And uh, yeah, let's finish this baby up. So like I was telling you during the planning of this month, I had several themes in mind and I couldn't make up my mind. Then I just thought of tarot cards and I said, why not? It's about fortune, it's about the future, it's about what's gonna happen. And I know we all have different hopes for this new year. And I know they're all wonderful and positive because we've been through a couple of years that have been challenging. And then I just decided to just use this beautiful theme, get inspired. And by the way, you can find in my Pinterest board all the different art that I use to get inspired to create my layouts this month. I go through different sources and get inspired by different artists and I love to give them credit as much as I can. So please look at what they do and see how I use their art to get inspired and create my layouts. I have to say that I'm really proud of this plan. And it reminds me a little bit of one I did, and I didn't share this video with you, I don't think so. Uh, I did an Art Deco January planning month, and I used a lot of inspiration from that layout and those designs that I created for that month. And a little bit as well, I think you could, um, because of the whole fortune teller thing, uh, tarot cards and all that, it could a little bit be influenced or inspired in my December Plan With Me video, which was inspired by Son of the Moon, Hijo de la Luna by Mecano. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for staying with me. Thank you so much for your likes, for your shares, for subscribing to my channel, but especially thank you very much for sharing this moment with me. I know there's many wonderful content out there and that you chose to see my video, it means a lot to me, so thank you. And well, you know, uh, have a wonderful new year. I wish for you, your family and friends, many wonderful things, including, of course, love, peace, and lots and lots of health. And you know, keep creative, keep safe, and always, always be kind, and I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye. Please like and share my video, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you next time!